we saw last week there was an awful lot of talk that it would not include a wall. Now the administration has come out very firmly through President Trump and Mike Pence that any deal must include a wall. Your thoughts? It absolutely must include a wall, you know, Grant. And our number one uh, priority is to keep Americans safe. And President Trump has that in mindset. He is an America first agenda. He has placed his 70 point immigration policy out there. Um, and he is determined to get his wall. And we stand with that. Um, you know, we also are the mindset of no amnesty. If we give amnesty grant and give in once again, we will be back in the same situation we were in way back in 1986. And the American people are still waiting for that wall that was promised to us. We're not going to let them fool us again. You know, in, in many respects, I think it would be devastating for President Trump if a wall wasn't built. This was his, this is what he ran on. It was his number one promise. Uh, again, he's come out and said that it would include a wall, but you were with President Trump early on. Um, from your yes. thoughts, why is the wall so important? Well, for one reason, just take a look at the previous administration. What will happen if we do not have a barrier along our southern border? You know, we're going to have border agents um, changing diapers once again. And, you know, all it takes is one bad administration like the Obama administration. But, you know, I, I ask your viewers to continue calling the White House and expressing your opinion that we do not want amnesty. And that's not just 800,000 grant. These are millions. And it will cost uh, $26 billion to process the DACA recipients. The wall, 18 billion or around that number. We cannot afford not to have a physical wall. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. And so when you look at what's going on to the South and you, and you talk about amnesty, clearly you had mentioned the 800,000 number. That's the number politicians want to throw around. But I am convinced that number could be two and a half million at the very least uh, when you get down to everyone connected with the DACA recipients. You're absolutely right. You know, we want to see the results of enforcing existing laws, following our Constitution, placing America first. You know, that means we want to see unemployment drop. We want to see the MS-13 gang activity and crimes greatly decreased. We want to see people, criminal, illegal aliens who should not be here, deported right away. You know, we want to see Americans back to work. Let's see the unemployment numbers drop. And I want to feel and see that physical wall before we even think about negotiating with people who shouldn't be here in the first place.